What's good, y'all? Today I'm gonna show you how to play Troubadour by Merle Haggard. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button for me and stuff. I appreciate it. The chords you're gonna need for this one is a C, zero three two zero one zero, an F bar chord if you can, one three three two one one, a G three two zero zero three three, and a D minor zero 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 two three one four string down. Alright, I'm going to show you how to play this with a capo too, um, in case that F bar chord is too much for you. Or you can play a little F, 0, 0, 3, 2, 1, 1, 4 string down. Alright, also I'm going to show you finger style and with a pick, but let me give it some context. So um, this progression that I'm fixing to show you, like the intro, you're going to do this all the way up until the chorus. Alright, so all it is, you're going to start on the C, and it goes C, F, D minor, G, C. Alright, you're just going to repeat that all the way up until the chorus. Alright, um, so let me, let me show you with the pick first, hold up. Let me show you what it sounds like with a pig. Stop. Alright, so if you want to use a pick, the strumming pattern on the C, you're going to, uh, with and without a pick, um, you're going to have to put your pinky on the third fret of the sixth string on that C chord. Five up, down, up, hold up. Five down, up, six down, up. All right, that's your C. Your F is, if you use the bar chord, six down, up, five. And if you use the little one, put your pinky on the fifth string, third fret, four down, up, five. All right, your G is six down, up, four. D minor is four down up five. All right, so your intro with a pick is C, L, D minor, G, C. All right, hold on, let me make sure I had that G right. Stop. Yeah, so um, if you want to use a pick, that's your strumming pattern. Alright, now, um, if you want to um, do finger style, I can't remember if I said this or not yet, but your thumb's going to get the 6th, 5th, and 4th string, 1st finger 3, middle 2, and ring 1. On the C, you're going to go 5, 3, pitch, 6, and 2, 3, 5, 3, pitch, 6, and 1, 3. Alright, so that's your C. Alright, your F is going to be after that. You're going to go 6, 3, pitch, 5, and 2, and then 3. Alright, before you go to the D minor, you really don't even need that first um, string if you're going to do it finger style. If you're um, strumming it, you are going to have to play that whole D minor chord. But anyway, so finger style, the D minor is 4, 3, pinch 5, and 2, 3, 4, 3, pinch 5, and 2, 3. Alright, so that's your D minor. Alright, then you're going to go to G. 6, Pinch four two three six three pinch four one three. All right. So your intro finger style all together, and this is your verses too. You're just going to do this all the way up until the chorus. C F D minor G C. You just repeat that.
similar, but it's a little different. Um, and then you'll know how to play the whole song, but let me give the chorus some context. Learning chords and guitar rhythm, singing blues and living with them, doing every song. So there's just some context. So your chorus is going to be C, F, G, C, F, D minor, F, G, C. All right, don't worry, I'm going to do it over because I was kind of messing up a little bit. But, um, so your chorus one more time all together and you're gonna play this progression right here during the guitar solo part all right so all together C F Choruses, all of them are the same. You're gonna play that progression through the um, the guitar solo and the verses that I already showed you. All of the verses are the same. All right, now if you want to use a capo, just put a capo on your third fret and play an A instead of a C, a D instead of an F, a B minor instead of a um, D minor, zero two four four three two fifth string down and an E instead of a G zero two two one zero zero all right so let me show you what that sounds like I kind of messed up so let me start over hold on show you the pattern so um if you're going to use a capo on the a you're going to go five three pinch six two three five three pinch six one three all right your d is going to be four three pinch five and two three four three pinch five one three two options you can either go five three and then six I mean sorry five three pinch six and two three five three pinch six and one three all right like all right all right so whenever I'm doing a B minor and I'm playing this kind of finger style um, when I first form the B minor chord, I try to make sure I get that fifth string at least. All right, and then after I hit that, I'm going to move my finger to the sixth string and just from then on out, just bar that whole fret. All right, so it'll be coming from a D. Like that, you know what I'm saying? And your E is, oh yeah, and there's another way, if, if that's too much for you, just go... Six, sorry, five, three, pinch, four, two, three, five, three, pinch, four, one, three. All right, like, all right, and your E is six, three, pinch, five, and two, three, six, three, pinch, five, one, three. All right, like, all right, but anyway, so your, um, you already know how to play the song. You're just replacing those chords. The A with the C. The D with the F. B minor instead of D minor. And the E instead of a G. Alright, so it'll be like this. It's 
same strumming pattern as without a capo, just on the A, five up, down up, or five down up, six. <laughs> So on the A it's five up, five down up six. D is four. A is five down up six. D is four down up five. B is either five down up six or five down up four. And the E is six down up five. All right. So all together with a pick. I'm gonna do the whole um, chorus for you. That is and was Troubadour. If y'all have any questions, let me know. Till next time, gone.